so uh, welcome all uh, in this session we are going to learn react by developing a simple project so let's before starting the project just have we will have a, a short introduction about react so if you take react is it is just a simple library it is not an environment it is a very simple library which is used for only developing the user interfaces the this is the first point and uh, in react we create components using jsx jsx uh, with jsx you can uh, combine all the three css html and javascript you have to understand and we will uh, see in depth in jsx when we are developing the project the third thing is so uh, just to uh, let you know how simple it is to create a component react just by using these four lines you can develop a react component so the so this particular thing is a though it looks like a html it is jsx okay so with these four lines we can create a react component so this is, shows how simple it is okay and uh, in react we have uh, only components no directive services controllers in like in angular only uh, it is used for developing user components in mbc it just points to the view nothing else it doesn't have a controller service or directive we are only developing going to develop a user component okay okay and the third thing is it is very simple that it can also be put inside a angular uh, application using ng react this shows how simple it is okay the react can also once you write in react using react native it can be also developed as a mobile application app mobile application okay so um, what we are going to develop in this session we are going to develop this simple project which has a login page and a home page where it shows a list of employees and this list of employees comes from a server actually and we will have a logout button and login button and we will have a username and password so uh, for this we'll have a username and password hard coded in the server okay once uh, that particular username and password is entered by the user and presses submit it will move on to the home page where we will show the list of employees with a provision to log out once the user presses on log out he will be able to proceed to the login page and uh, and all these uh, things should be editable okay the employee name uh, and uh, portion held all this should be editable and sh we should also add a provision to delete the employee if the user wishes so this is going to be a project what we are going to design so uh, we are going to have 16 steps by which we are going to develop this project you can see this so by these 16 steps we will be developing the project so let's proceed with the first requirement that is to create a skeleton react application using react uh, cli okay once you download the uh, node you will be getting that um, npx using which you can create a react project okay just the requirement is you go to your uh, <coughs> Google uh, browser and download download node. Once you download node, you will have that npm installed in your machine. Once uh, based on your uh, MSI, you install the MSI 64 bit or 32 bit if it is Windows or Mac OS. Choose the uh, corresponding installer and install the node. Once you install the node and open command prompt and uh, move to a particular folder and using npx create react app so this is the thing npx create react app and the name of the application I will name I will give the name of the application as uh, react uh, test okay I will just give enter now so this should be uh, uh, creating the skeleton of the application 
over which we can develop our own application it just gives a skeleton of the application so uh, over this we can uh, modify it for our own terms okay so let's wait for it to download it, this actually creates the react test and also downloads the necessary appli packages required like uh, react uh, react dom and all those it and even for uh, deploying the react application it does the development server also for you okay let's wait for it to create <clears throat> now it has uh, completed uh, creating the skeleton react project let's open that in vs code to explore further okay sorry I will open that uh, oh, uh, was named as uh, React test, right? Okay. I will just open that application. So this is what it created. If you uh, explore the files it has created, it will have uh, app.js, okay, and it will have index.js, everything, okay. So this is where it starts. Actually, what we are doing is <clears throat> uh, just uh, have a simple understanding the react dom anyway will uh, uh, create from scratch so this uh, react dom renders the application onto the root which is present in index.html so the in any web application it's all starts with index.html in this index.html you will find the root application root uh, div so on to this div inside this div the react dom inserts the react component if you see as per the index.js so it just finds the root element and inserts the this react application inside the root div which is present in index.html okay this is what it happens okay so let's uh, i will just start the application maybe we will uh, understand further by working with scratch on this okay anyway we are going to modify this okay let me uh, start for starting the packages are already installed because the npx takes care of also installing the packages okay so here uh, if you go inside and see you can use this shortcut to start the application if you go to the package.json you will find the shortcut start so uh, making use of the start cut i will start the application now okay so i will give now npm start okay So uh, let's wait for it to start. So what it actually does it is uh, it starts the Webpack dev server and puts all our code. It actually using Webpack, it creates the bundle and hosts our uh, our complete application, gives that complete bundle to the front end. Basically, uh, if you see here, once let, let it uh, deploy, then I will show you that. So the webpack is also installed as part of this installation. If you go inside and see, you can see also the webpack uh, dependency installed. So uh, it it actually starts the webpack dev server and creates the bundle using our uh, complete uh, whatever the code we have written and gives the complete bundle to the front end. Okay, and it comes to the backend only for data. That's what. Uh, it happens in client side rendering you have to understand even angular or react 
everything what's in the similar manner okay so let me show you so this is what yeah skeleton uh, react application what the react cli created for me okay so um, so let me uh, delete all this and let's create a functional component and uh, i will uh, try to make you understand so this is our first requirement right as per this the first requirement is to create a functional component there are two components which you can create in react functional and class so let's first create a functional component okay so let me uh, delete all this code uh, maybe uh, i will delete all this for creating uh, now i have to create the component and uh, i will ask it to react to render it onto the root element which is present in the index.html by using react dom okay the first requirement is importing the libraries okay what you have to do is the main thing you react need is import react from react this is the first requirement what you need and this this is needed for converting your JSX into JavaScript code okay you will understand it better when we go inside that JSX and and for rendering the react dom onto the root element root uh, div element present in your index.html you require react dom as well okay these two are required now so you can see this okay now uh, we have imported the libraries we require react dom and react now let's create a functional component how to create a functional component the creating a functional component is very simple in react we have to just return a jsx element okay so let me uh, so just understand that it should be any component in react should start with capital letters okay and uh, i am using jsx to create a function and to create a component you have to just return jsx okay you understand so i will just return jsx this is though it looks like html it is javascript javascript it gets converted as javascript this element gets converted as javascript you can just go inside and see this is a jsx div not a normal div what you see in html page okay now you have created a functional component now you have to ask uh, react react dom to render it react, render this functional component onto your index.html page right for that you you just use react dom react dom dot <coughs> made a small mistake okay it is from react dom actually not uh, react and it should be like this okay react dom okay now uh, try to get the render method from that and here you have to the first parameter will be the component and the second parameter is where you want to you want react dom to render the react component into so this is like i want to render this app whatever you have made it up into document dot document dot get element id id equal to root because we have only a root div element in the index.html okay let's create it so read this document right so now it has completed let us see whether we are able to see hello 
in our page so we are able to we successfully created a functional component in react so now to un understand better how it works okay so when you do localhost html right the index.html is the first page will which yeah, will get loaded in any application okay if you see the page source here right if you inspect no no i want to see the page source right not able to see them if you see the page source here you will see the same file in this version but you will see these lines getting added right so these lines are getting added by the react cli so what it does the react uh, cli does is when you start the application it will start the webpack dev server and host it on to 3000 and it also using webpack it builds a bundle okay and gives it to the front end so the bundle is actually given is present in this path though it is hidden by the we can't uh, see it here that bundle we can't see it here but it gets created okay when you uh, start the application it gets created and it is given to the front end okay so you can also see that bundle here <clears throat> you see the sources right you will see the bundle here so this bundle will have all our files create whatever we ran we uh, created right that everything is present here you can see hello and everything present here functional component and whatever we wrote is present here so all the html css uh, html ca uh, html css and javascript is bundled as a single file yes uh, a single bundle file and given to the front end and using uh, using this bundle it will uh, do if you have another component that also will be fetched from this bundle but only for data maybe for employee data it will go to the back end to fetch the data otherwise it never needs to go to the back end okay so by this way the efficiency is greatly improved improved in case of react or angular because these are client side technologies okay so we have all the necessary html css javascript in the front end itself through the bundle built by webpack okay okay so let's proceed uh, with the next we have created a functional component so let's proceed with the next topic now